time to bring you guys five, count them five, no recess styles, let's get into it. Welcome to Purpose Sex Beauty, where it's all about lock speed and lifestyle. My name is Simone. Bobby pins, gold, jumbo, bobby pins. So my main thing with styling my locks is getting my hair out of my face. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. But first, let me put the locks in the back in a ponytail so that they're out of my way and I can focus on this part here. All right, I want my middle part nice and crispy, so I'm gonna get that nice and crispy. <laughs> I actually think I'm gonna take less of a section here, split that in half. Yeah, I think that's what I want. Okay, looking good. Let me get my handy dandy mousse and my brush. And just like that, I'm gonna smooth out the hair and I'm gonna apply some mousse on layers. right on top and a little bit in the front because that's what i really need brush it down bobby pin so i'm going to secure it down here and make sure i get it nice and flat but not uncomfortable right that way i can just put the rest of them where i want it without having to hold it i'm just trying to get my people straight yeah. right, i'm wondering if i should be like obnoxious and put a bunch or like space them out let me see. I shall edge is done. I'm going to lay them and come back. Actually, before I do that, so I can see how the whole look at my ah, look how long much. Okay, so I can get the whole look when I first see it. Ooh, ah, this is a oh, wait a minute. Wait, okay, hold on. Let me put it the way I want. Do I want it straight back? or kind of to the side. I think I like it straight back. I think I like it straight back. Okay, hold on. Yes, okay. This just, I don't know, this just does something else. Having it straight back, I like this. Ah! So, this is the bobby pin bang. Okay, next style. All right, so I call these mini Congos, and I'm gonna make maybe about seven or eight throughout my head. We'll see how all that adds up. But first I'm gonna do the front. So let me section that off, because I might actually just do the front. I wanna see how that will look, but the idea in my head is to do it all throughout my head. But let's see how just doing the front looks. Okay, let's make some sections. on the roots. I'm gonna get my handy dandy black rubber band, the small tiny ones, and I'm just gonna make a nice little ponytail. Tight but not uncomfortable. And three times should be good. Too many is don't make the work harder for yourself. So now what I'm gonna do is find a nice, I think I want a skinnier one. I'm gonna take a nice skinny piece and I'm going to wrap it around from the base and then keep going upward. I guess this is technically downward as I wrap it around. And then secure the end with another black rubber band. just gonna repeat that on all the other sections. Okay guys, moment of truth. So I did decide to do my whole head. But let's see. It is not tight. <sighs> I 
I love it. I love it. What else is this one doing? <gasps> Let's get a 360. I didn't put too much attention on the back. Okay, next out. This one's actually super easy, but it just has such a big impact and it is none other than the beautiful Congo lock. And that's why I had to adjust the camera so that this much of my hair can get into the frame. So first things first, high pony. <sighs> okay, I got it in a pony. Looks real cute. I might just have to do this like as a style on its own. But this is what it looked like and I think I like where I have it like sitting on the top of my head too. So that's all good to go and then make sure it's nice and snug and all that good stuff. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one lock, maybe a skinny one, one that's kind of longish. And I'm going to use it to wrap around the base. Just so my scrunchie is not showing, but this is optional. I just feel like it looks better. Wow. Now I'm gonna get another scrunchie and I'm just gonna keep building this upward. See that, see that? Okay, I'm gonna put another scrunchie, one more, all the way at the top. Ooh, okay, I've got my Congo lock. I got it where I want it on my head. I got them nice and secure, but we're not done yet. I'm gonna be adding some natural kinky twist hair to the top of it. You know how they be doing um, like on the boho braids, like how just like some loose strands are there. Well, I'm using kinky twist because that's the texture of my hair. We're literally just sticking it straight in there and it's gonna let a little bit hang loose like that. so that I can make a bang. Hmm, should I leave it like? My idea was to do loops. <sighs> I love it. I'm gonna do loops, I'm gonna do loops, I'm gonna do the loops. I just realized it's not in the middle of my head and this is gonna drive me like insane. I'm not taking it down. It's just gonna have to, it's just gonna have to do whatever. I'm gonna be using a combination of bobby pins and the small black rubber bands to do the hair loopies. Okay, let's see. <laughs> After several tries of trying to make the hair loopies, to do what I want to do. It's just not laying flat like I wanted to lay flat. Y'all, I finally got it. I finally got it to do what I wanted to do. Okay. I don't even know what I did, but we're not messing with it no more. Ah, the final look. Ah. This is what the Congo lock means. When they say Congo lock, this is what it means. I love like my little wispies. I feel like that's really the takeaway here. Yeah. Love it! Okay, next style. The last and final style. Lock spirals! Buh, buh, buh. Okay, this one's definitely going to be the most intricate, so here we go. You are going to need needle, thread, some black rubber bands, and possibly some bobby pins. Not sure yet though. Definitely mousse. And if you haven't already, go ahead and make sure your hair is nice and hydrated. Now notice how I said hydrated, okay? I don't know who needs to hear this, but you should not be putting oil on your locks every single day. Okay, hydration, yes. Moisturization, which is oil, no. So first I'm gonna section off the front portion of my head because that's what I'm gonna focus on. And I'm gonna put the back in its own little thing. And I'm gonna start with this side first. All right, I have a vision and right, let's get up close. First thing I'm gonna wanna do is just make sure my part is nice and aligned and get this lock out of my way. Okay, that could be just a little bit straighter. Don't laugh at my comb, y'all. I have no reason to replace it because I don't use the fine tooth the part. <laughs> yeah, I literally just use it for this. For the rat tail. You know, and I'm locked and everything. Alright, so I have my hair parted to my liking. Now it's time for mousse. 
just like that and put it all on my roots because that's my target area that's what i'm wanting to have slip down i'm just gonna flat twist both of the locks towards the front okay once i get here though i actually want to put a rubber band because i want it to stop right there okay, i've got my needle and my thread and what i'm gonna do y'all what i'm going to do i'm gonna take one of these take one of these and i'm gonna start making it into a spiral just like that needle thread to hold it in i thought about using um bobby pins but they would just look so bulky you know so got a little spiral here i'm gonna take my needle and thread and i'm gonna put it once through the whole thing boop just like that that way i don't have to hold it as securely i'm gonna go some more and basically repeat the process So I know it is holding tight. I'll go, I'll go this way. Now this I do want to make sure it's nice and snug and tight because I don't want it to unravel. Alrighty, looks like we have a spider. <sighs> I freaking love it. I think that's as high as I'm gonna go. Yeah, that's as high as I'm gonna go. Cause I'm also thinking about the takedown process. Like, I don't want this to get too intricate where it's just like, where's the thread? It's so much of it. Ah, you know, so. So I'm gonna take my needle. I'm gonna go through the outer lock again just going through it and instead of making a knot this is how i'm gonna secure it because again i do not want the takedown process to be like annoying so i actually just want to be able to unravel it so i'm not gonna make a knot and i don't plan on wearing this forever so i'm not too concerned about it being like extra 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 sturdy so that should honestly hold it and I'm kind of taking into account like when I do lock sprinkles, I don't put knots on the thread either. So hold on, let me look in there. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> so I'm kind of hoping that that should be enough security for how long I want to wear the style. All right, we got our first spiral down. So guys, I'm literally just gonna repeat this to the front portion of my head. I'll probably check in on some crucial other parts but for the most part we're gonna make this a time lapse and real quick i am ending up putting another rubber band where the so i put one here to secure the flat twist and i'm putting one here as well i did like a very short two strand twist just because i didn't retwist my hair and so right here is looking really um poofy because my hair isn't retwisted but uh, to just secure i did a short little two strand twist i put a rubber band and i'm probably gonna end up doing that with the rest of them as well
spirals. Look at them. This is like a proper work of art. So I think it'd be really cool to finish the rest of my head in the same sort of style, but we're gonna leave that for another day and we're gonna put this in a high pony with some lock pedals. <laughs> a mod look and I'm gonna be using these yes rollers I'm about to bring back the rollers so this is a half up half down so I'm gonna get the half up part going mm, it feels like enough moose down and my edges now the fun I'm gonna need to miss my hair at least the ends up some so that they can dry with the rollers all right now that that's done I'm gonna get my first roller and I can't put too many locks into one roller because it's just so bulky da -da, da -da. and it kind of helps if they're all around the same length but i really just want to bunt the ends do that do what i want how many is in there three it's good enough <laughs> Okay, so I ran out of rollers for part of my ponytail, so I'm gonna hope that these are just curly enough to kind of camouflage that these aren't curly. So I'm gonna leave these in for maybe 20, 30 minutes and hopefully it gives me the result I want. Let's see. All right, y'all, moment of truth. Let's see what this first one looks like. Any curl at all. little something this is for 30 minutes like if I were to leave this on for a day let's get the rest Okay, so these are the ends of my locks after 30 minutes and then just, oh, did I miss one? And then just misting. I feel like if maybe I would have used them right after a wash and leave them in a bit longer, I maybe would have gotten the result I really wanted. I wanted to like, I wanted it to be like curled, you know, like really curled. We'll try that for another day. We just gonna go with, with what this gave us this time. And that is, ta-da, this. Ooh, you know, this gonna be fire. I'm gonna have to figure out another method on how to bunt my ends because it would literally look so cute. Like, I don't want the whole thing curly. I literally just want the ends to like, go like this, like just up like that. That would look so freaking cute. Okay, this is cool though. <laughs> It'll have to do, but guys, don't forget to smash that like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you what don't miss when I drop something new. Until next time guys, see you, peace.